Hi. Welcome. Okay, so I want all of you guys to go to coldwaterswimming.com because in the next five minutes, we're going to try to raise as much money as we can for a charity called Charity Water. So retweet this, guys. It's important because one billion people don't have access to clean water. No clean water means no health. No health means no education. And no education means no progress. But luckily, we can change that. Because 20 bucks will buy clean water for one person for 20 years. That's amazing. So donate at Cold Water Swimming and tweet this. Because if you don't have access to clean water, you have basically, there's no future. You're merely surviving. You're not living. No education, no economical progress. And me, well, I live pretty much like this in the Alps. My passion is swimming. I swim in these, in these lakes, and it's obviously that I'm doing a swimming campaign for charity water. And the deal is very simple. 100% of the money raised goes directly to the water projects. 20 bucks is enough to make a difference. And then on average, for every dollar invested, there's a $12 economical return for the whole region. And well, obviously, I hatched this plan in summer. Um, let's swim all year long. I've been doing that since August now. Turns out that's not so easy. Because, well, the easiest way to die from hypothermia is to immerse yourself in cold water. Um, at the current water temperatures, it takes less than five minutes to lose control of your hands. And, well, as a child, I hated the cold. I hated cold hands. And so it's a bit of a challenge. But challenges are OK, because I have a kind of a guiding principle in life, a very simple one, which is every day do one thing that scares you. Because if you don't control your fear, then somebody will end up controlling you. And the only way to control your fear is to scare yourself. So go out. It's OK. Go, go scare yourself. Talk in front of an audience like this. Because actually fear, you know, fear is good. So if I can give you, offer you one tip for swimming, a bathing cap would be it. Because 70% of body heat is lost through the head. Um, so go, when you go swimming, wear a bathing cap. And then long distance swimming is fundamentally all about energy management. That's the reason why in um, Olympic competitive events, actually temperature, core body temperature checks are required for safety. So dress for success. And then when your head hits the water, you will first, you will gasp for air. You can't control it. And then you will start to hyperventilate. So basically, you can't really swim. So you have to learn to control that. That's possible. And if you do, Swimming cold water, please just swim regularly, like go out every day because you will build up a, a layer of fat like this guy here. And I, I really like this guy because, well, we share a secret. You know, swimming in cold water gives this really amazing high. Okay, when I have been swimming in water, I will feel energized all day. Okay, so what I do to motivate myself is. I like to track my progress. And I built a little tool to do that. Um, it's very simple. I feed this kind of dashboard with my activities, and I do that on Twitter. I use a very simple hashtag syntax, like here, swim five minutes. It pops up on the dashboard. The dashboard is public, which is good, because you have to make your fears, your, you have to make it public. So your goal should be public. And then finally, um, like Tiger Woods, I like women and I like money. But, but I don't share my woman, but I do share my money with Charity Water. So please sponsor me. So to recap, first, donate to Charity Water. Second, do one thing every day that scares you. I did now. And then third, wear a bathing cap. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Francis.